What's up guys, it's Max here and back again with another video and today I'm going to show you guys on how you can make a Cubico based Firewind server on your Linux UPS. So let's get started. So first of all you need to log into your party using your root access and uh, let's follow me guys. So first of all let's make a directory for 5M. So once you're done let's, let's change our directory to 5M and once we are done inside it let's go to a browser and just type in 5M.net now let's get our server files for our server. So go to create server now and go down until you see Linux artifacts and just right click here and just copy link and just type in double get and just right click here and just enter. So once it's done, uh, let's list the file. You can see the file, we downloaded it. Let's extract it guys, okay? So we need to type in tar xfx.tar.exe. So this is the name of the file, just let it do its job. So once we add them, we can delete this file again. We don't need that anymore because we already extracted it. And all right. So after after we are done here, we need to uh, make a database for our server. All right. So for for creating a database, you need to download MariaDB on your PPS. To do that, what you need to do is just type some commands like this: pp get install MariaDB, and you'll do it. You got it, get it. I already have MariaDB installed on my PPS, so I don't need to do that. I'll just put every command on the description of this video, so you don't need to worry about it. So, yeah, once you're done, uh, just type in MySQL. And uh, once you're here, just type in some command like create user, and you can name anything uh, for the sake of this video. I'm just making a uh, user like benchmarks and at person just means it, is, it will be accessible from any IP so identified by password so you can change you can use any password you can I'm just gonna use benchmarks for the password and just type in enter so we already made a user uh, so let's give this user all privileges like grant all privileges um, you don't have to do anything, just, uh, just copy and paste the command that I, I will put in the description of the video. So be sure to check that out. To um, benchmarks username at percentage identified why. So yeah, we grant all we grant all privileges already. So let's plus our privileges. Yes. So after we after we are done here, just type in exit and we need to do restart our MariaDB or MySQL or anything works. So just type in system still well, restart MariaDB or MySQL. So I'm just gonna type in MySQL and I'll let it restart so after that you need to open hiding SQL and type in your IP and username so my username for this video is oh wait we did some mistake here guys we did a terrible mistake we made a user with benchmark and we gave all privileges to another user. How is that impossible? So grant another privileges to benchmarks <laughs> because that's how we pronounce it, right? All right, so so at the same time and. Or MySQL, and till then you can just type in your IP and uh, username. So I mispronounced it, and I tapped in benchmarks for this video, guys. No worries about that. And password, and just tap in open. So it will request for the uh, database. So we are in our database now. So what you need to do is just. <coughs> Type in 
so commands like we need to also install tmux so what tmux will do is it will make your server run in the background even if you close this window so yeah so to do that you need to type in apt script install tmux okay so just type into i already have that so we yeah, i don't need to need that so after that install you just type in tmux and you'll get this window and you something like that run that edge and enter so as we are running for this first time it will request for us for to register this um, server so to do that you just need to log into the this IP so that will be your IP address of your VPS or server so for me it's 134, 255, 227, the 196 and column and for two four zero one two zero this is the port so it will be same for everyone you just type tap in enter so it will ask it will ask you to link your account so just copy this pen and 9824, 9824. yep just link account to do that you need to have also have cfx form uh account so you need to go and uh, for uh, register your own account and after that you'll go to continue and it will ask you to put some password here just for protection you can do any password you want because we, we're gonna be using cfx um, account to log into this account so we don't need to remember this password so just tap in any password you like and just type in save okay alright so save and after that it will ask you to set up the server just tap in next and any server name that I will be tap typing text server for this video and just go to popular template and QB core framework and use any patch you want because but I'm gonna make a uh, name a little bit shorter so qb core and just type and save go to recipe deployer and just go bottom until you see this window next tap in next and uh, this it will ask for your license key if you don't have any license key for your five server you can run the server to get a license key you just go to key master and it will also ask you for the signing of cfx re so yeah you'll get your uh, key you can go here and just go to register and fill this everything in this IP address of your server and just enter it and it will generate for you but i already have a key i can just use that let's copy it and just go to recipe deploy and paste it so database host for will be the username that i used here like um, I mispronounce it and pitch marks so I'm typing I'm gonna type it pitch marks and the database you oh sorry for the database host will be your IP sorry for the guys so this is my IP and database username will be pitch marks because I mispronounce it guys and the password will be this one marks so yeah the database name you can type in any more anything I'm gonna make it shorter and this QB core and let's go run recipe so it will connect to your database here and make uh, wait, where is it going? A database as well as download some resources files for your QB core server so yeah then mm. let's wait a bit till it's done I'll show you guys um, how you can get VPS uh, cheaper like I'm using tab hosting VPS guys and they offer pretty much any game server and uh, VPS and your server as well so you can use my link and get an account I mean get a server that would be really really cheap guys 
like let's see so you can get uh, the game server of TX admin which will be really cheap so you can choose any location they are printed location and go to slot how many slots you want and it will show you the price per month and the RAM as well to use and uh, and in this video I'm also gonna going to give you guys 20% permanent um, code so if you use this code while checkout you'll get 20% permanent discount on your server that means uh, every month you get 20% discount on your server so let's see if you get 40 slot server uh, uh, which will include 4 GB RAM it's, it's plenty guys you don't need to do anything more and let's go bottom and we see the price it will be priced on about 13 euros per month and if you can also choose building interval like if you get the server for uh, six months you get extra discount and uh, get this much and you, you can use my code this one and you'll get 20% off more guys so it's, it's permanent guys if you use this code you'll get 20% off permanently and until you until unless you cancel the order of course and you can also get uh, root server if you want a better performance of your server as well if you want and uh, pretty much a lot of game servers can rent and yeah I think that's it guys I think the it's so done yeah it's done guys so let's tap in next after you're done so yeah just go check them out guys and yeah and just go here is this is your server's configuration file file so if you want to type anything here you can do that like you can change your name of the server and you can uh, add yourself as an admin but I'm not gonna do that right now because just let's run the server guys and uh, so yeah so with the help of TX admin it will be really really easy guys so with TX admin you can do any a lot of things like uh, you can even make this server uh, wait change name from here you can change the server name from here you can uh, you can change this configuration file from here like you can do anything you want you don't need to open your game server file and type in here you just go to the browser type it and you can do anything you can also see the console here so you can you can restart any resources you want from here and you can see players who are already on a server and you can make the you can ban them you can warn them you can whitelist them you can do anything you want and uh, yeah it's, it's pretty much it guys so the I mean, you should really use the I mean, because it's, it's really good and uh, now let's see the console you can see our server guys mm, and uh, yeah guys this much for the video guys and uh, if you like the video guys please do subscribe to the channel and like the video and if you got any problem uh, well making the server just comment below and I'll, I'll surely help you guys and do check out tap hosting because they offer a really good price for their server and cheap as well so use my code as well it will we give you off um three person off from D and yeah thank you for watching the video guys i hope you like it and see ya